All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, Play Fast Football. Today we're going to do a little video on uh, a little different way to play uh, some Y offsets to kind of protect our three high stuff. Um, and we are going to pull the string with two of our safeties based on the release of the Y and what he's doing uh, in the run scheme and in the passing game. All right, so make sure you check out some of our partners, Game Strat, the sideline replay system we use at the school I'm at. The uh, last two schools that I've been at, excellent customer service. We've never had an issue uh, anytime. With the hardware, and anytime we do have an issue, we call them up and they're ready to give an answer right away. So make sure you check out GameStrat Dome Hats, which is the headwear uh, company that I use for play fast football and the school that I'm currently at. All right, this is one of our fitted uh, dome hats. So if you want custom hats, if you want the ability to build your own hats, several different styles, design, snapback, fitted, uh, Velcro, you can uh, embroider different things on the side and the back. So it's completely customizable. So make sure you check out Dome Baker Sporting Goods, which is a company that provides us with our coaches gear, they provide us with our uniforms, they provide us with some of our player gear. Our fans have uh, stores where they can buy things uh, online with, uh, with Baker Sporting Goods, so make sure you check them out. Just Play, which is the playbook software we use, it's how we present material to our players. If I was going to speak at any clinics, it's how I would present at a clinic. It's the best play drawing tool on the market. Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine, we have them in our weight room here at the school. I'm currently at Bishop Kenny and I also had them uh, at Orange Park High School, so make sure you check out Difference, uh, Difference USA. You can get thousands of reps. You don't need a partner. Elbows in, thumbs up, work on striking, and do it inside, outside. You can do it in season, off season, so it's a great tool. Make sure you check them out. And then Coach Tools, which is a, a player grading system. Uh, if you're tired of doing things the old way or you're frustrated with how you do things in your grading system, this is completely customized, customizable. Set up your own uh, columns, set up your own database for how you want to grade people, grade your film, plug it in, and now it looks more presentable and professional to your players instead of the old-fashioned handwritten grade. All right, so for us, everybody knows the last you know, year or so we've been a tight three-high team, uh, having a lot of success with it this year, um, to uh, a lot of different things that we are seeing, and now we're starting to get um, you know, some of the some of the things that, that people want to do to beat it. And the next video, I'm going to talk about how we play in line tight ends and some of the adjustments we're making. But we see a lot of Y off. Um, we see a lot of 11 personnel uh, where that Y can travel and he can do different things. Sometimes he's in line, uh, but when we see 11 for the most part, it's usually an, an off the ball Y. And everybody knows that we're a, we're a split field team. They know we're, we're a three high team. You get film out there. People watch you play, they start figuring out how you're doing things. So everybody's always going to have an answer for how you're trying to fit certain runs and then how they're going to get the tight front and the three high structure blocked up. So one of the things we do as a changeup, all right, is we play a deal where we have our middle safety and our boundary safety pull the string off of the insertion or the, uh, the assignment of the Y, where the Y is going. We pull the string with them and then one of the things that we do different, uh, because in high school football, to me, I feel like it's run 75% of the time and we need, to, uh, we need to handle the run game. What we do different than, than some other people is when the Y declares and we drop down with that safety, the other safety becomes a, a box fitter or um, a cutback player or an extra guy in the run game, whereas some people will take the release of the Y, they'll pull the string, and the other guy will close the middle of the field. And there are times where we can do that. I think it's great in passing down scenarios. Um, but for me, just philosophically and, and how I feel about high school football, if I'm doing something like this, so the first thing that you've got to look at is you present that 3-1 box, right? So now when we do this, we've got to get the will outside now to be able to play what we call some type of Bronco support system where it's backer support, but he's also going to help get underneath one because we're going to lose our backside safety. Now, for most of you, all right, that, that know most of the time for us versus 11 personnel or two back or we like to play with the mic and the wheel in the box and then our backside safety, all right, or our weak side safety is, is a guy that is going to play coverages based on what receivers are back there, right? So this might be a lock deal. If it was into the boundary, it might be a cover two deal. Well, when we go to pull the chain with our, with our Y off rat concept, we've got to take the will and we've got to bump him out because he now has to give us that body presence under the single receiver because I am going to lose the backside safety. 
So we're still playing split field coverages, but we are losing because I'm tying the backside safety into the fit off of the release of the Y. Okay, what, what is going to end up happening now is we are going to lose that body presence out there. And, and if you had a dude out here, you could lock that up one on one, but you still got to be able to handle if the Y is out to the flat, especially if you're getting like stack sets. So if you get stack sets with a tailback here, now you've got to be able to handle a Y out and a tailback vertical or a tailback out and a Y coming vertical. So you're going to need the will out there, which means you've got to go to a 3-1 box, which is going to scare a lot of people because it looks like an extremely light box. But what you got to understand is both these safeties are tied into the, uh, or relating to what the Y is doing. So this will be four, five, six, seven, eight in the fit rather quickly, all right, based on what the Y is doing. So if you were to get like your simple, uh, if you were to get like your simple zone kick schemes or your zone cut schemes, right? So if you were to get zone this way, most teams, if they're going to zone cut it, they're probably going to work the four eye and try and get up to the will. They're going to work the nose and they're going to try and get to the mic. All right, and then depending on the teams that you're playing, they will have wrinkles on the backside, whether they just want to, all right, run the four eye down and now they're going to bring the Y back. Okay, so when this happens now off the movement of the Y, our middle safety is going to drop down. And now what's going to happen is the mic needs to be, all right, a front side on zone when he doesn't get a puller. Now, again, this is all the mic has to understand that pullers override a lot of different things. So when he doesn't get a puller, the mic has to play the A-gap off the nose. So if you're going to put the nose behind, then your mic would have to be a front side A-gap player on the zone if your nose is going to play behind. Some people in high school, and we do it from time to time, you may want to move the nose. So you may want to predetermine that you're going to move the nose one side or the other, and the mic has to fit in zone schemes, the A-gap, off of that when you don't have a puller. So now the Sam linebacker who's playing, so the beauty of this for us is we can still play palms here. We can still play our cover two deals. We can even match this if we wanted to, all right, and make it more of a man concept out there versus RPO teams. But we can still play the same three for two coverages out here. All right, so now when that Y comes back, that's going to be your force player. That's going to be your alley runner. And if they don't bring an extra puller, you should have two for one on the Y coming back. So the Sam has the outside part of it. The middle safety has the inside part of it. So even if you've got like zone read or zone pull, if they can't create another blocker, you still have two for the Y and the quarterback. And then what I like to do, okay, is if the Y went away, I like to take the backside safety and make him a box fitter. I like to drop him down and make him a cutback player. So your will would be kind of a vice cutback player there. I like to run the backside safety down into the box to kind of fit some of those things and give me an extra presence there. There are some other people who will take that backside safety when he gets movement that way and they will move him to the middle of the field. I am not a big fan of that. In high school, I like taking that guy and adding him to the box, right? So the next thing you're going to get a bunch of is you're going to get a bunch of GY or you're going to get a bunch of counter. All right, so you're going to get a bunch of counter stuff going the other way, which is going to be scary for people because you have a light box. So usually, most of the time, all right, when we see um, when we see in our tight front, when we see counter, a lot of times we see a lot of solo down blocks, okay, and then they're going to bring the guard back. Now, what they do on the backside with, with the tackle, whether they try and hinge it and help the center there on the back block, okay, you're going to get now, you're going to get the guard coming, and now you're going to get the Y coming, right? So anytime, we've get a, anytime we get a puller, the mic has to get over the top. So when the mic sees pull and it's not a zone scheme, the mic now has to get himself over the top. So the mic's going to end up being a spill player while the Sam stays a box player. The middle safety comes down to run the alley, and now the backside safety comes in here to box fit, all right, and be a cutback player, and obviously the Y, I mean the W, all right, your will linebacker here would be a QB player or a slow vice fold player, all right, but you're going to gain the backside safety as the cutback player there. So as soon as the Mike gets a pull scheme, the Mike has to understand that he's got to get over the top and he's got to be a spiller. So basically these two guys are box players. The Mike's a spill player, and then the safeties are your, are your alley fitters. Right, so you are set up to box the ball back to the safeties that are running the alley. All right, we're three on two palms on the front side, and then we're playing. You know, if we were to get past again, it's right now. It's the will would be underneath. The corner would be over the top, 
and we've got the backside safety and the middle safety tied to what the Y is doing. Again, if you get stack looks, you've got to be able to handle that with the will and the safety to that side because now if you got that release and something like that, the will is going to have to relate to the back so that the backside safety can now pick up the next thing that comes vertical. Okay, so if we were to get, you know, if you were to get front side power, usually it would be um, more so, I'll draw it up the other way, that's where we see it more. So if you were to get like slot sets where the Y off is there, okay. So again, for us, standard, this is how we would start off playing. All right, so standard for us in our base defense camp rules, we would start off by playing palms on this side, all right, and then we would have a menu of calls with the backside safety attached to the corner, and they're playing their deals, and we're playing the mic and the wheel in the box. All right, once we go to the Y off deal, now we've got to move, we've got to solo the mic, and even with the... Even with the slot strong, even with a three by one type look, we're still going to take the will and put him out of the box. And the reason we're going to do that is he's got to box things coming back. So if we got counter that way, or zone cut, or you know zone kick, or whatever you want to look at it, split zone with the Y going that way, the will's got to box everything back to the backside safety. All right. So we've got to make sure that we've got the will. So we still walk the will out of the box again. Uh, something that scares people, they say a three one box get a little bit nervous, you got to remember, all right, the Sam or the Will, especially to this side now with the back on this side, the Sam's going to be a little bit slower to this fit because of some RPO deals, but we have some other things that we can do to protect that. That's probably a video for a different day. But again, right now, so if we were to get power, normally the way we see it, okay, is the, the toughest part for us would be if they were trying to run power, if they left the guard on the backside 4i, now they can double the nose and try and get them to the mic. Now they can block the front side four eye down. That's going to go there, and here comes that tackle there, right? So the way we've got to equate these numbers is once we get a puller, the mic's got to be an over-the-top spill player. There's your box player. There's the string pull because the Y stay on my side, so I'm going to run the alley. There's your backside box fitter or your cutback guy, a guy that can get another body into the box while we still play palms and we still play arm. Uh, now we're out of our menus calls here, and we're into some type of Bronco deal out there where we are playing the will in the flat or underneath. Okay. Now the one thing that you're going to have to realize when you're doing this, you are going to have to take the mic and involve him relating to number three. All right. The mic's going to have to relate to number three and be involved in the push stuff because usually for us in our base deal, the middle safety is playing the push of three. Okay. So all right, again, hopefully everybody can see if we got the power, that's how we would fit the power play. The mic's going to spill it, Sam's going to box it, middle safety's going to run the alley, and then your backside safety pulling the chain or pulling the string off of the Y staying front side would become a box fitter, cutback player, an extra body in the box, right? But the first set that I drew up when the Y is on the other side, what you now have to realize is if the middle safety is tied to the release of the Y and he is no longer playing off of number three, if number three were to push, okay, and you're playing palms and your Sam pushes, you have to find a way to match that. So now your mic has to be involved relating to number three. And when we play our base defense, our mic is not involved relating to number three, our middle safety is relating to number three. So once we go to, all right, this Y off, all right, string concept or Y off rat concept, once we do that, now the mic has to be involved relating to number three because if he gets a push, he's got to match it with the Sam because we're losing the middle safety. Okay? So that's something that you've got to understand. So this is a change up for us. It's not a deal that we do a bunch. Um, it's something that we like to do every once in a while if, if teams are on to how we play our three high system. Again, now that film's out there a bunch and you play teams and you've got eight, nine films out there, there's teams that are going to get enough formations that they can see and see how you fit runs. So they're going to figure out how to block the middle safety. They're going to figure out what you do to the single side. So this gives us a little bit different picture to the single side. It gives us that 3-1 box look as opposed to the 3-2 box look. All right, and then it gives us two 
force players with two alley runners with a spill mic to both sides against pullers to equate numbers. All right, so again, just a change up for us, all right, and just in sharing up what we just talked about, just so you understand what I'm getting at. The base way we play this, okay, the base way that, that we play the palm side of the coverage has the middle safety involved so that if we got a push from three, the middle safety would then come down and find the next threat inside because the Sam has to push. So in your old school 425 or your old school two read theories, the middle safety basically is acting like the Mike linebacker in the deal. He's got three vertical and if three pushes, he's got to drop down and match the next route coming inside. Right? Well, as soon as we go to the Y off deal, we lose him. So if I've lost him, I've got to gain somebody in the push, otherwise they're going to get all right, three on three out there real quick. So now when we're in that deal, we've got to add the mic relating to number three. All right, so I just wanted to draw that just in case some of you are, are kind of missing the point there on, on what we're doing. But again, three high and, and tight front has been very good to us this year. We played some really good defense. Uh, the next one or two videos I'm going to do is how we treat inline tight ends. And then I'm going to look at some of the things people are doing to us to try and get either the middle safety blocked or get the middle safety um, out of the fit because he makes a bunch of plays for us. And, um, you know, the good thing about being tight three high is we see some different game plans where people get away from their bread and butter and try and do other things. And on defense, to me, that's what you're trying to do is get people to play left-handed or off-handed um, and make them do other things. So uh, you've got to present some other looks. You've got to do some different things. So we have some other packages we carry um, so that, uh, you know, we can protect our tight three high stuff. So um, Sorry about the bells. Uh, this is a day off. It's Veterans Day. We don't have school today, but the bell system is still on, and uh, this would be during the normal school day. So apologize for the bells, but now you know that there's videos alive and unedited. So um, again, this is a deal that we carry. We don't play a ton of it. We'll play it every once in a while. Um, we mix it up with some other stuff. We also have some robber stuff where we play man, and those two safeties become low hole, high hole players, so it works in off of that a little bit. So again, just an adjustment, a change up, a different way to play some of those Y offsets that you're seeing to protect your base concepts. All right, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you know every time we do a video or when I go on YouTube Live, you get a notification. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like the video or don't like the video, leave a comment. I try and respond to every comment that I see on my end. Appreciate everything you guys do for me and play fast football. If your season's still going on, good luck to you. Some teams playing tonight, good luck to them. We play tomorrow night, so hopefully we can keep our season going. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast, and I'll see you guys next time.